Hello again, welcome to my video blog. This is a um, video blog I've been doing on my model railway. It's um, purely for setting up the JMRI with the Arduino at the moment. Um, I've done a few blogs showing you how to, to configure the JMRI so that it, on the panel pro it can control the Arduino, turning inputs and outputs on and reading some sensors. And we set up the servo control on just the basic on a bench. So what I've done now is connected the servo up to my actual model now um, as a temporary thing. You can see over here I've got the servo connected and there's a metal um, piece of wire there going over to my, one of my turnouts. Um, this has been mounted in and the wires go down through the bottom and the Arduino's underneath which you can't see at the moment. So the first thing I do to get this running properly is using this script over in the right it's a very basic script for servo control um, and I've got a string read part at the top so we set up the servo which is attached to pin 9 again and I'm doing my servo write to 2 which is the setting for the servo when it's closed um, and I'm doing a serial dot begin now because I'm going to be setting the servo up to find out what position or what numbers I need the servo to be in for it to be Thrown or closed on the on the turnout. So the first thing then I do is read the serial input from my actual computer keyboard, um, and I put it into the variable in char. Um, and then I say if in char is equal to two, t for throw, then servo dot write ten, and if it's equal to c, then servo dot write two. So I'll upload this to my Arduino. Bring up the serial monitor, and if I put T in now, hopefully you can see it on the video. It's not a great video image. You can see it's just turned over and thrown the points. And if I put C, it's brought it back again. So this is a good way of working out what numbers you need to put into your servo before you set up your JMRI. But one thing you might notice if I put the throw again, and you have a listen up. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a constant buzzing noise from the servo. Um, one way I've managed to figure out how to stop that is that I need the 10 now for the servo to throw um, at the point and turn out over. And after it's thrown, I can back it off by one um, so that it's not pushing hard against the um, running rail, which is causing the buzzing, I think. So I'll upload this to give it a demonstration now. And we'll run that again. And now if I put the throw, you can hear it's, it buzzing and then it's backed off and it's not doing the buzzing now. And if I put the close, so as you can see it's working quite well. But just this part of the um, Arduino sketch. So I'll bring up the JMRI sketch now, um, which is here on the left hand side. This is the one that I was working on the other day in one of my videos. Um, so all I've got to do now is enter the numbers into here and I've already done it here. So I put the servo to be thrown on 10 and then back it off by 1 and into when it's closed go to 2. So I just need to upload this now to the Arduino. That's done. Now get rid of these and I'll bring up the Panel Pro. It's a different computer I'm using there. So I think you've seen my previous op ones you had office in here, I've got this is the main one for the railway. Right, so it's already set up on COM7 now, some different different computers, so I've got a different COM port. Um, so all the, all the CMRI is all set up and it's uh, Arduino so the CMRI on this one. Um, going to tools, oh sorry, I'll open the panels, go to panels, open panels because I've already set this up and I've got the GMR turnout set up, ready to go. So we now go to tools I go to tables and turnouts, and all you'd have had to done here is to add the turnout for the address. Um, if you saw in the Arduino code, the turnout we was on bit 47, which means that I'll be on CT1048. It's 1048 for the address. Uh, my previous videos have shown that. So if I now click on the throw. You can't see it because I'm behind the video. So now I can throw it 
and I can open it again. It does have a slight buzzy noise there, I've still got to work that one out. But you can see it doesn't derail the train. And if I close it, it runs perfectly across as well. There we have the Arduino now controlling one of the turnouts quite well. Um, and you can have multiples of these, uh, 48 um, turnouts you can have. Um, later on in one of my blogs, I will be going a bit further. Um, there is a way of connecting up multiple Arduinos using a um, it's the 48, RS-485 uh, communication. Um, we can daisy chain um, the USB RX and TX wires to multiple Arduinos. So we can have quite a lot of inputs and outputs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to my blog and I'll upload some more videos as and when I start building more on my railway. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, and I will be updating all this um, later date on my website. I'll be putting a link at the bottom. Um, it'll be updated over the weekend. Thanks.